Hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you some baseline inbounds plays, what I call the Horns Baseline Inbounds Plays. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. On this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today these are plays that I made up myself. Uh, these are what I call Horns Baseline Inbounds Plays. Um, you may have seen the formation before, but personally, these are all 100% my own, so stay tuned. I hope that you enjoy. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so first in this inbounds, we're going to be going up against a man-to-man -man defense, and we're going to try and get player one open over here. And how we're going to do that is we're going to have player five set a screen on player one on the defense, obviously. And then we're going to have player four set up a staggered screen right here. Player one is going to use that staggered screen and he's going to pop out to roughly the free throw line extended. He's going to be open right there. He could jack up that shot because we do have three rebounders or he could set up the offense if we have lots of time or enough time. So this could either be your point guard or this could be a really great shooter of yours. Now what we're, we are going to do is we will have player four set up a screen on player two. He's going to be popping up and this will be an inbounds pass to player two. Player two is going to get that ball. Player three is going to then run inbounds over to this side. And what we're going to have is then we will have player four set a screen over on player five who will then cut towards the rim. And player two is going to pass player five the ball, hopefully for that layup. If player three does play help defense or is able to get down there to cut off player five before he can go for that layup, he can then pass out to player three for the three point shot. Now in our next and final play is gonna be up against the two three zone defense and most likely player three five is gonna be guarding there, player three is gonna be guarding the other side of the key. And what we are going to run and do is have player five set a screen on player one and player four is gonna use that screen, pop out to that free throw line extended. What's going to happen now is player five is going to be turning and setting a screen on player one and he's going to be screening for player three. Player three is going to use that screen and pop out to the point he could set up the offense at this time. Or what's, what could happen is we can then have a three point shot. Another option now also is have player one set a screen for player two. Player five is going to screen again for player one. If player one is popped out, he's going to be setting a screen here. And what's going to happen is player two is going to use that screen of player one. He's going to pop out to this side. Player three is also going to use that screen. And now what's going to happen is player three could jack up the three-point shot, or he could pass to player two who can jack up the three-point shot. Now, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. These are plays that I made up myself, so I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have... Hit that like button, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.